Hello and welcome back for another Feature Friday. My name is Layla. I am a vetted ClickUp consultant and every single Friday I come on to YouTube here to talk about one feature in ClickUp that you may or may not know existed. Talk about what is it, why would someone use it, and how can you avoid doing something stupid with it? Because let's be honest, ClickUp is a lot and it can be really easy to get in a bit over our head when it comes to complicating things in ClickUp. This Friday, I'm going to be taking you slightly outside of just ClickUp to talk about the email to task features in ClickUp. Now, this is something that I was exploring for myself a few months back, and I didn't really realize how much power was within this email to task feature until I started playing with it. But first things first, what the heck is this whole email to task? Thing. Basically within every single task in ClickUp, if you click on those three dots, the ellipses menu where there's tons of just hidden junk that you might not know what it does, you will see this kind of email icon. It looks like an envelope. And if you click on that, you will see a unique email address for every single task that you have in your ClickUp account. You can also create tasks using this email feature by clicking on the email icon on a list. So that's what it is. The next question is why would someone use it? There's a lot of reason. What's really cool about this email feature is a lot of the time as service business owners, or at least myself as a service business owner, I have a lot of tasks that come in via email. A lot of communication starts as an email and needs to get into my ClickUp. And previously I would take the emails that come in, I would transfer them either manually or through a zap into ClickUp and then I would archive the email. And that was fine, but it didn't really make this seamless experience. One of the things I tell my clients who are looking to switch to ClickUp is that you really can, done correctly, use ClickUp to replace internal and sometimes even external email by doing everything within ClickUp and the lightweight chat and commenting features that are built in. So how exactly would you use this email to task or email to task comments feature? What's the point of it? Like how can this help my business? Well. One of the use cases that I would suggest is a CRM. Now I've made separate videos where I've talked about how ClickUp isn't quite CRM ready. It's not really usable for that function. I'm changing my tune on that a little bit. Some features have come out recently that have made it viable and I've actually switched over my own system to have a CRM in ClickUp. So if you're interested in that CRM tutorial or a CRM demo in how I use ClickUp for that, just put a comment below. But Back to the topic here, if you're using a CRM in ClickUp, you can forward emails to a comment on the task that associates with that client or prospect to keep all of your communication records together. Another use case of using this email to task feature is if you have requests coming in. So people email you and they're asking for a bug to be fixed and you don't handle all of the bug fixes or manage projects out of your inbox, so you need to make those into tasks. So I could take that email that comes in and forward it to the email address associated with my bug fix list to help me keep track of all of the requests that are coming in. Now, these are just two examples, but hopefully this gets your gears turning about how you can actually use this. And one thing I'll say is when you're using this after the first time that you put that email address and you send it, as long as your, you know, your Outlook or your G Suite is set to remember the email addresses you email and add them to contacts, those email addresses will save in your contacts as the task name, which can be kind of cool, or the list name. So if I had that situation where I was forwarding to a list called bug fixes, the title bug fixes would show up as the contact name for that email address in my Gmail or in my Outlook, which is pretty cool. So things to watch out for when you're using this email to task or email notifications is one, just general typing errors. Like, come on, we can very easily put things in the wrong place. And depending on your sharing settings, you could accidentally forward things into the wrong location. The second thing to watch out for is when you are forwarding or creating a task via email to your ClickUp space, um, it can get kind of long form. So specifically with the commenting, what happens when you comment or forward a task so it becomes a comment is it's very, very long. It becomes this very long plain text email and even the signature can take up the entire view of what you have available in comments. On the other hand, if you used the Chrome extension and added emails into ClickUp using that, it would actually save it as like an attachment, which is a lot more concise and easier to have attached. So just something to watch out for. And finally, try to keep these email addresses private. Now I will say, if this happens to you, if your unique email address for a task or a list gets slipped out, someone finds it publicly, they start trolling you for it, it's not the end of the world because you can actually change this email address just by resetting it. Now you want to make sure that any automations you have or anything that's in your contact book is updated with the most up-to-date email address, but not a big deal. That is it for this feature Friday, all about emailing things into ClickUp. I mentioned briefly about the browser extension by ClickUp that also allows you to add emails into ClickUp in a slightly different way. 
but mm, didn't dive deep on that one. So here is the time where I ask you to vote. As I'm thinking about the coming weeks, I want to get some decisions about what Feature Fridays I should cover next. Some ideas that come up were the ones I just mentioned here. First, should I talk about the browser extension? What it's able to do? How you can actually use it? What's all the power built into that sweet, sweet little extension? Or should I talk about Zapier or Integromat? These are third party integration tools that allow you to connect to ClickUp to do creative things. Your choice here. If you're interested in the extension, leave a comment saying extension. But if you're interested in learning more about those third party integrations, just say part and then I'll know that you would like more information about that. And of course, if you are sitting there watching this video thinking, Layla, I have such a good idea on what you could cover on a feature Friday. Then go ahead and leave that in the comments. I reply to and read every single comment. So I would love to hear your ideas. However, I think that's about it for this video. If you enjoy this, click like. If you want to see more videos like this, click subscribe. And of course, thank you so much for watching. If you are tired of trying to piece together YouTube videos to figure out how to align your workflows, your processes, and your ClickUp account, well, maybe it's time that we talk. I work one-on-one -on -one with a select group of clients every quarter to help people build out their systems and processes. Find out more at processdriven.co.